What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745, and in this video, well, we had some unfinished business to cover. As you all know, we were doing the most ridiculous teams in PvP, and I fully intended on having Gnaw and Angrer, but then that stuff with my Facebook account being locked happened, and my computer got completely reset, so unfortunately we didn't get it done at the end of the tournament. Still, I thought it wouldn't even be fair if we didn't include them. And even though I was using them, I don't want to be biased. They are definitely one of, if not the most ridiculous team in PvP. So why are they ridiculous? Well, first of all, on Null's level 6, you can place a lethal or the ailing A-ISO, applying despair or endemic to the entire enemy team. That's going to be a quick action. And it's basically going off and there's nothing they can do about it. Following that, his World Breaker applies Meteor Swarm. This debuff was in check before with Magic Warding. But the devs thought, well that's too easy. So they changed Magic Warding. And now Meteor Swarm reigns once again. Oh and by the way, even if they do prevent debuffs, it's still going on them. And there's nothing they can do to get rid of it. That is except knock Gnaw out. And even then, if they happen to do it in a certain way, like I believe with a counter, it'll still stay on you. At least from time to time. Pretty sick, right? Now those Meteor Swarm stacks keep getting increased throughout the fight, like from Magic Attacks. And it does an incredible amount of damage. He also protects preemptive counters every single time. And it's just absolutely a handful to deal with. Anger, on the other hand... He can hit you with the Act of Darkness. If you're preventing debuffs, it'll deal damage to your entire team right off the bat. Just a massive chunk taken away. And it almost doesn't even seem to be working properly. I have to admit. But even besides that, it purges your team so it removes all the class benefits. Kind of ruining tacticians, infiltrators, and so on. On top of that, he gets to do two summons every single round. So he can use one with Malignant Poison to stop healing, or even worse, he can possess your entire team, making them attack each other, and they have to skip their turn. So effectively a full team stun. Plus there's a lot of healing, stamina drain, a massive heal that prevents debuffs, and it just keeps going on and on. The only thing they didn't give these two is an instant eye win button, but it's pretty close. For me, they would probably be at the top of the list, but from time to time, Bladefire and some really messed up Fatal Finish teams do end up being worse. So I guess it just depends on the moment and the team. Now after that somewhat quick run through of the most ridiculous aspects of the team, we're going to go ahead and do one more match, and it's going to be a mirror match. The only difference is, they're going to have Fatal Finish on top of it. And, yep, they have Fatal Finish on both Damon and their agent. So a fantastic way to wrap up this miniseries. This is where it's kind of overkill. I mean, you're going to have the two most ridiculous characters and double Fatal Finish. That's just sick. I'm hoping we even get to win this one. It's not going to be easy. One of the worst things with Fatal Finish, a double or especially a triple Fatal Finish team, is Angrer using that Purge. So getting that early AoE damage to your entire team. After that, the Fatal Finish Explosions really put you in jeopardy of being taken out. No matter what you do. Unless you can get some heals off. But Gnaw always applies Despair. So that's going to be a serious problem. Now the good news in this match is we did mind control Gnaw or possess him. And we caused him to hit his own agent. That means he'll have to skip his next turn which could end up making all the difference. But here comes the Act of Darkness, and since we are preventing debuffs with Warding Essence, as soon as anything else happens, there goes that really cheap damage. And he's also going to attack our Angerer with Mort Deuce. It does end up hitting. At this point, we are getting really close to being knocked out by a double Fatal Finish. So what we're going to have to try to do is maybe take down the agent right away. Well, Null's gonna step up and protect, so we have to hit him. 
but at least the enemy agent is going to be stunned. So with ours, we'll use Smothering Shadow, and as you've seen, Meteor Swarm's doing a ton of damage to the enemy team. So that's another really good benefit. Now if we can only get Baron Mordo to finish off Null. Okay, well the agent's going to protect, and he dodges. Not a perfect turn of events, but we'll just recharge, and Null goes down to dots anyways. So with Anger, we're going to go ahead and use, I suppose, Cloaked and Lost Souls. To be honest with you, since Null is pretty hurt, we rather him get hit. And they do go after him, but miss. While at the same time, we want Meteor Swarm to tick, at least for a while longer. Well, this is exactly what we didn't need at Tominatrix. And Anger ends up hitting his own teammate. So on Null's turn, he's actually going to be stunned. The enemy agent goes down and explodes. But as you can see, our agent and Angerer still have enough HP. Sometimes I get a little bit worried and I end up playing this safe, and this is going to look very familiar to another match. In fact, I think I did it the exact same before. I remember someone getting upset that I used three heals. And I know not everyone can heal themselves three times. But it's going to be fine. I mean, we probably don't even need more than one, if that. In fact, we'll just use the alluring light. And so we won't do it the same way. Then we'll just call on magic. So there, I changed it up. After all those dots, we'll follow it up with the improbability field, maybe for some extras. And at the very least, if he does end up living, we'll use the Atom Smasher later. It could in fact end up being a pretty big finish. But now that it's our Angler's turn, we'll use Act of Darkness. And he'll actually get benefited from consuming darkness right now. Then I'm going to use Twisted Flames on my Agent. So there, he's at full health, he should prevent debuffs. But then again, against the Worthy, you really can't even stop them. It looks like Anger hangs around for another turn, so we will get to finish it with an Atom Smasher. But of course, he's going to use a Summon and Cloaked in Lost Souls. Then, let's see what type of damage we can get. It's only 14k, and of course he does blow up. But still, a win is a win, and I'm just happy that we got this video done. I was going to put one other team in it, but it really wasn't even a factor. I didn't see it a single time. So maybe we'll cover that glitch, but maybe it's also good that no one knows about it, or very few. Anyways, there's going to be a Cloak and Dagger All Hail the King episode tomorrow, and more Marvel Adventures Alliance 2 content later this week. So stay tuned for all of that, hopefully more Civil War stuff, and anything else that may come. Lastly, I want to thank you all for watching, ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.